Alaska Medicine marked a milestone this week. Ten years ago, the hospital treated its first patient in the biocontainment unit. The patient came back for the ceremony, and so did members of the unit. Six News' John Chapman has more from the ceremony. Ten years ago, medical missionary Dr. Rick Sakra high-fived his way out of Nebraska Medicine's biocontainment unit after being treated for Ebola. Dr. Sakra contracted the disease while treating a patient in Liberia. Dr. Sakra returned to Nebraska to celebrate his recovery and to recognize the treatment he received from the biocontainment unit team. Oh, it's just great to see everybody again. These are, you know, people who literally saved my life uh, 10 years ago. I consider them lifelong friends. They're not just, they're not just the people who took care of me in the hospital. They're really uh, friends. Jay Jevney is one of those friends. Ten years ago, Jay was a CNA and in nursing school and a member of the biocontainment unit. When I interviewed, you know, I asked what kind of agents we'd be working with. And, and at the time, you know, there was a very kind of short list of things and Ebola wasn't on that list. But Ebola did make the list. Dr. Sakura was the first patient treated at the unit. I felt good about our processes and, and the safety uh, plan that we had in place, you know, all the procedures and policies. So I wasn't worried about that. I was kind of worried about school because I was in the middle of nursing school and that's not very easy just doing that. And I had a wife and uh, three, three kids at the time, four, uh, four kids actually. At the time, Jay and his family lived with his mom and dad. They were a little jumpy when they learned of their son's work with Ebola. It was kind of interesting that, that some of our friends, I mean, nothing really obvious, but, but at church or something, people would keep their distance from us. <laughs> Jay says he felt good about the procedures they had in place. He understood the apprehension, but he was sure his work would not harm his family. When he talked to us about the uh, protocols that they use there at, the, at UNMC, uh, at least I was a little more uh, uh, comfortable with it. Jay returned to Nebraska to see some of his old teammates and to get a look at the doctor he played a role in saving 10 years ago. Seeing the team, all the team there, and, their fa and his family, and his desire to go back and help, right? So here we saved a provider that can go back um, to, to Africa, to Sierra Leone, or wherever he needed to go to to save and help more people. On your side in Omaha, I'm John Chapman, 6 News. Dr. Sakra says he will always appreciate members of Nebraska Medicine's biocontainment unit team.